I want to ask you about more information that's come out on the um, British man who is known as Jihadi John, um, who appears in the Islamic State beheading videos. Um, Hamid Mwazi has been identified as that man by British security. They say he's a 26-year-old born in Kuwait who moved to the U.K. as a child and studied computer science at the University of Westminster. The British group K said he faced at least four years of harassment, detention, deportations, threats, and attempts to recruit him by British security agencies, which prevented him from leading a normal life. And Mwazi approached Cage in 2009, after he was detained and interrogated by the British intelligence agency, MI5, on what he called a safari vacation in Tanzania. In 2010, after Mwazi was barred from returning to Kuwait, he wrote, quote, I had a job waiting for me and marriage to get started. But now I feel like a prisoner, only not in a cage, in London. In 2013, a week after he was barred from Kuwait for a third time, Mwazi left home and ended up in Syria. At a news conference, CAGE research director Asim Qureshi spoke about his recollections of Mwazi and compared his case to another British man, Michael Adebola who hacked a soldier to death in London in 2013. Sorry, it's, it's quite hard because you know, he's such a... I'm pretty sorry. I didn't expect... Uh, he's, he was such a beautiful young man, really. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to imagine the trajectory, but it's not a trajectory that's unfamiliar with us, for us. We've seen Michael Adebalajo, once again somebody that I met, you know, who came to me for help, looking to change the situation in the system. When are, when are we going to finally learn that when we treat people as if they're outsiders, they will inevitably feel like outsiders, and they will look for belonging elsewhere? That's CAGE Research Director Asim Qureshi. Your response to this, Noam Chomsky? Right. If you, the same, if you take a look at the uh, uh, those who perpetrated the uh, crimes in Charlie Hebdo, they also have a history of uh, oppression, uh, uh, violence. Uh, they come from an Algerian background. The uh, horrible French uh, participation in the murderous uh, war in the 90s in Algeria is their immediate background. They live under in these uh, harshly repressed areas. Uh, 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 those uh, and there's much more than that. So it, you, you mentioned that information is coming out, out about so-called jihadi John. You read the British press; other information is coming out which we don't pay much attention to. Uh, for example, um, the Guardian had a, an article a couple of weeks ago uh, about an, a Yemeni boy. I think it was about 14 or so who was murdered in a drone strike, and uh, shortly before they had interviewed him about his history. His uh, parents and family uh, went through them, were murdered in drone strikes. He watched them burn to death. Uh, we get upset about beheadings. Uh, they get upset about seeing their father burned to death in a drone strike. He said they live in a situation of constant terror, not knowing when the person uh, 10 feet away from you is suddenly going to be blown away. That's their lives. Uh, people like uh, those those who live in the uh, slums of uh, uh, around Paris, or uh, in this case, a relatively privileged uh, man under uh, the harsh, pretty harsh repression in England, they also know about that. We may choose not to know about it, but they know. Uh, when we talk about beheadings, they know that in the U.S.-backed uh, Israeli attack on Gaza, at the points where the attack was most fierce, like the Shafaya neighborhood, uh, people weren't just beheaded. Uh, they were, their bodies were torn to shreds. Uh, people came later trying to put the pieces of the bodies together to find out who they were, you know. Uh, these things happen, too. And they have an impact. All of this has an impact, along with what was just described. And if we seriously want to deal with the question, we can't ignore that. That's part of the background of people who are reacting this way.